Hey guys, how you doing? It's XDSL here. I've just finished this bowl of breakfast super noodles and I think it's time to tackle The Exiled. The Exiled is a game that I heard about on X Penguin. Uh, uh, I got told about it by my cousin X Penguin this week. And um, I thought I'd check it out. And I've played about an hour of it and I've got to the point where I know it's not for me. It may be for some of you though, which is why I'm making this video. Uh, it's a pure PvP experience. It's sort of a isometric style but not really top down sort of experience uh, where you get to run around uh, attacking other players getting loot and doing little quest point type stuff there are also dungeons i hear but i'm nowhere near high enough level for that and there is also a good guild system which seems to seems to be quite prominent in the game um it calls itself a multiplayer online multiplayer mmo <laughs> it's multiplayer online multiplayer mmo uh, yeah, I don't know how Steam does these things anymore. It's getting there's like it repeats itself so much. It's like if it's online multiplayer, do we really need multiplayer? Why am I talking about this? I'm burping. It tastes like noodles. Weird. Uh, it's a free to play game anyway, uh, or at least it is free to play during its time in early access. Whether it stays free to play after early access, I honestly don't know. But you can buy the the, the different packs uh, anywhere up to sixty pounds ninety nine. What you get in those packs, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't bothered reading up on it, and it doesn't seem to make the information prominent. So. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, requires Ubuntu, yeah. It just it's 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 yeah. It's pretty basic requirements. Uh, and what was it? It's mixed, I believe. There you go, mixed. Not a massive amount of reviews either. So let's have a look at the actual game itself. Well, here's me hiding in a bush, and you'll notice. First of all, my very first criticism of the game was something that I got the moment I logged in. Check this out. I'm going to move my mouse side to side. Yeah. Um, if you're seeing like if you're thinking, how the fuck do you even play that? Yeah. Uh, so as you're playing, you, you can move your mouse to the edge of the screen, and it, it does this. Now, the problem with this is you can turn it off. Uh, but look, if this is a pure PvP game, so I'm getting another, what, another, like, 25% vision on in any direction on the screen? Maybe not that much. But I'm getting I'm getting to view stuff on the screen um, at a greater distance doing this, right, um, than I am doing this. So let's have a look. Um, that That's a pop-up. Okay, we'll... We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so if I go into... Oh, no, no, no. If I go into controls, um, I can lock the camera. Uh, and locking the camera means that I don't have any of that nonsense anymore. Which, again, much better. Doesn't make me feel anywhere near as motion sick. Uh, but it does mean I've cut down my actual field of vision in the game. Uh, you think, fine, just zoom out. No, there's no zooming out. It's fixed aspect. Uh, fixed, f fixed viewpoint. I don't know what the word is. But uh, that's fine. you think that would be fine as well. But uh, yeah, okay. I get they do it because it's PvP. And if someone that's got a big monitor zoomed all the way out is going to have, you know, he's going to have a substantial advantage over someone over someone zoomed in. So I get why they have to restrict things in PvP games. I also don't care and don't like it. And this is my character. There's no real character class. It's just which... I say there's no real character class. There seems to be no real character class. It seems to be just what weapon and armor you choose is what you get on this skill bar down here. Which is fine. I can live with that. Um, so here we are. We're running around here. And you can see another criticism I had early on was if I'm looking down and moving to the right, he does this weird jog thing. Um, and I just find it, I don't know, I find it weird to look at. It just looks weird to me. Um, but again, minor criticisms. Now, here's a drone. Drone, a dummy. I don't know why I said drone. You can practice on the dummy, see what your, see what your, your skills do and all that, uh, which is really nice. Now, it's very quiet and uh, it's... It seems like people do come on for specific things um, at different times of the day. But at the moment, it's very quiet, which is good because it's a PvP game. When it's quiet, it means I can actually level up without getting murdered. Uh, so speaking of leveling up, how does it work? This bar across the bottom here fills up, and then you get a level. And uh, this is the inventory. And when you kill something, you actually literally get an XP icon as an inventory item. So your XP is an inventory item, sort of like Dark Souls. The reason is when you die, you start again. The only thing you get to keep is your storage, your permanent storage. Um, so if you put loads of XP in the inventory, you can spawn up back at level 1 and boost yourself all the way to top level pretty much instantly. Which I guess is how you would be a serious player. You'd have to have a major repository of XP hanging around in order to do that. So let's try and find something to do, shall we? Oh, here's, was that an online storage? No, it's a drop-off thing. But there's, a, there's online storage. What am I even saying? Uh, persistent storage. Let's see if we can find something. To do and this is uh also something i've noticed with newer mmos that are coming out for linux uh i had this problem with albion online and i've certainly got the problem with this one is why and why on earth on an mmo am i running around looking for the content you know why am i the one running around trying to find content if i play like final fantasy 14 I'm, I'm i'm dripping in content everywhere i look there's content even if you haven't got that much content 
at least make it prominent so that people don't have to go hunting for it. You know, put it where the people are. The electron. I'm trying, trying, really trying to find something to do. Um, okay, veteran oasis bind to respawn here. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. But it's a good idea that there are gives you respawn points like that because you can decide whereabouts you want to be. But again, no content. Where am I? Okay, well, let's head south. There's definitely content to the south. Yeah, this is this is the problem. Yeah. Uh, no, I can't go south. God damn trees. Oh, that's the other thing as well. There's all these trees, these wilderness. Now, the PV, now, if you're inside the trees, if you're inside certain foliage, you become invisible, or at least harder to detect. Like this foliage here, you'll see I sort of become harder to detect, and everything sounds a little bit more muffled. But then I can stand here, which is larger trees, and that doesn't happen. I'm still perfectly visible to the players, uh, which kind of felt odd to me. Um, kind of felt like either an oversight is probably the wrong word. But it certainly didn't didn't make it feel like it has consistent rules in this world. See, there's literally I've literally been walking all this time and I've encountered nothing to do. Um, and I guess I am off the beaten track because I did go exploring. Well, that's how I play MMOs. I get in, I get a new sort of MMO experience and I'm like, let's see what this world's got to offer. And uh, in a few, oh, there's something. Is there something there? Cool. Um, what is this? You know, this thing's this thing's gonna probably one shot me. No, it's fine. So we, we fight like this. We click our left mouse button. We use our skills and stuff. And ah uh, crap. We use our skills and stuff, and we uh, we do battle. Uh, now the monsters. I haven't encountered a monster yet that's completely ridiculous. They all seem to be fairly straightforward to kill. Um, but sometimes there's lots of them. Hit space bar to loot, and there we go. We've got four XP for doing that. That's literally four units of xp so i can use that now we'll keep it in my inventory so if i right click and i use you'll see at the bottom bar there i've got um, there you go way so it's an experience 972 of 1139 and then i use 4 xp and it jumped all the way up so obviously there's something about the xp i'm either not understanding or it just there's each unit is worth sort of a couple of hundred xp points um, it doesn't really make that clear, which, again, it's probably not hard to figure out if, if you're so inclined to go digging through the menus. But I'm, I'm not, to be honest, uh, because of this, of this endless walking. And then you have a fight, and then you walk somewhere. And if players are on, you do some endless walking, and then uh, and then you have a fight with a real player, and you, you get killed. <laughs> which seems to be what's happening here. There's the edge of the map. Look, I've walked all the way across from one side to the other. Um, yeah. One of the things it does that I do quite like um, is it, it has a uh, it has a system where where you sort of get to choose your weapon um, and you just literally can try when you start the game like the tutorial area you can actually try you can try your weapons you can give them a go you can go I like this one and just just walk out with it um, so there's no sort of training past that you just go okay this is cool and I kind of I kind of think that's interesting. Um, I like the way the world looks. I think the world itself is really well realised and the artwork is very nice. And are these pop-ups here, look, this is... Uh, a Ravenger has just been sighted. So there's the location and the Ravenger's been sighted. Now, if I'm so inclined, I can run up there to that location and I can battle that, that Ravenger. Or it says an animal fell. And when an animal falls, I can then click on the animal to loot it. And it gives me, like, a circle. And I have to defend the area against, uh, against like, spawned mobs uh, for, like, five minutes. And when I do, I get quite a lot of XP for doing it. They are quite challenging. I've only managed to do two of them so far, um, and I failed on a couple. Not that I died, but literally the, the actual the fallen animal lost health, which was a weird thing because, like, why would a dead animal have, <laughs> have health? But I get that they have to make these decisions for gameplay mechanics in order to make it make sense. Um, yeah, still walking. See, this is the problem. This is the same problem as Albion. Just, I mean, I've been walking for nine minutes and I've encountered one thing to kill. And it is, I can just do all this. I do find it comical that I can just walk around for ages backwards. Um, I feel like I should get a speed reduction when I'm facing the opposite direction to a move in. That might have been interesting. I think the game, if they if they either get a massive population or they just give me more guidance as to where the, where the joy is. So I'm not running around endlessly just looking for stuff. Um, I think that could be, that, that could make it more fun. Uh, I want to. I always want to give these new MMOs the benefit of the doubt, and I, I like the fact this one's trying something new. It's like a PvP desert, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so I really want it to do well, but unfortunately at the moment I just, I'm just not having fun with it. I'm just, I'm just sort of wandering around, and that's been my experience of the game. I either wander around or 
You find there where there's loads of mobs spawned, which may, uh, it seems to be on the top. There we go. Yay. Something to do. Something to do. So you find this area where loads of mobs are around. I can clear this area out. And they just, there's nothing to do there. I move on. Yay. Oh, look, I'm in a trap now. Look, there you go. Space to loot. Oh, space to, space to loot. Loot all. There you go. I've got four XP again. And now I can kill this one. They're not massively challenging mobs. Yeah. Uh, skillings done by mobs sometimes drop equipment. Um, they drop uh, these spices and there we go. Maybe this one. There we go. Do all. Yeah, they drop these things, these pigments, and these pigments seem to be used to skill up and to craft new skills. You have to do that in a dojo, and then you can. Oh dear. Maybe I found something that'll kill me. That's quite large, isn't it? Very well drawn. That's one thing I did notice. All the character models. Really well drawn, really nicely done. I feel like I wish I could spin the camera. Um for a, you know, it doesn't seem to be something it'll do. I oh, now I've got loads of them. It's this is gonna go well. This is this is gonna go well. Damn it. There's three of them now. <laughs> See this is fun right here. This is kind of enjoyable. The combat's a bit janky and I feel like there's not quite enough interaction because I am just clicking and moving. Um and it does seem to be directional, like if they physically have to hit me in order for me to register damage. But then look, I can get all this. Look, there's a skill there. Look, I can learn that skill if I go to a dojo. That's something I know. Uh, and then we can loot this one. Can we loot this one? Yay! Did this one not be looted? I... Yay! There we go. I've got 20 XP now. So if you look at that skill bar at the bottom, and I can either put this out. What I can do now is I can put this into storage, and then if I die, I can come back to 20 XP, or I can just use it now. Look, click. Yay! Congratulations, you're now level six. I'm quite far into level six as well. Um, so leveling up's not a massive problem. Uh, and this skill here, I can take it to a dojo to learn. Uh, turns you or other players invisible. That's pretty cool. And what's this here? Trial of, uh, what? Grit of Tau. A uh, workshop to increase items. Bonus resistance. Okay. See that? And I also like as well, if I bring up my inventory, the moment I move, it vanishes. So because of PvP game, if I'm inventory doing stuff, and then someone pops up and go, ah, and I can just straight away back in combat. So there are things I like. It's not without merit completely. Um, and again, I really like the way it looks. But, uh, yeah. What's, what's, oh, look, something else to kill. Yay. See, the fact I had to walk around for so long without finding anything, though, was a little bit upsetting. And as you can see, when I've cleared this area out, the respawns aren't great. Yeah, he's to loot. Take his loot. He's, he's, he's coming at me. I'm just going to walk away for now. But, yeah, this is the game. Pretty much, this is the game as I understand it. And uh, all these events sort of pop up on timers, and they all appear on the map. So there's an event over there going on. Um, the event down there going. There seems to be stuff going on, or are these or are these guild zones. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, events are on the map anyway, so you can walk to them and find them. And there seems to I don't know. Seems to have potential. And again, really like the artwork, but not for me. I'm not a fan of pure PvP. I like to PvP, but I like to do it in sort of an arena setting, right? Like like I choose to go into the PvP zone or go into the PvP mode. Um I don't like open world PvP. Just not for me. Not something I enjoy. Maybe I'm a Care Bear. Who knows? Um, I always enjoyed Care Bears as a kid. Always liked it. Yeah, I like the one. I like. I like. I like the brown one with the rainbow on his chest. Was it the brown one with the rainbow on his chest? I'm babbling now. This has been this. Uh, let's uh, let, let's exit it out. This has been the Exile, the game that I'm not that fond of, honestly. And I don't think I'll be playing it much more than this. I can see why it's mixed, but I can also see that people who are really into PvP might like this very pure experience. Thanks for watching. I've been HexDSL. You can like and subscribe these videos if you subscribe. These, you can like these videos or dislike these videos and subscribe to my channel. And apparently, I have to say at the end of every video because YouTube tell me to. I don't. I don't know why that. That's in their guidelines. Seriously, you can read how creator FAQs. That's what they say. Prompt your audience. Motivate them to do stuff. I also have a Patreon if you're so inclined. Thank you for helping. Bye bye.